What's up, Internet? Rich Malky back for another top five in front of the whiteboard. That's how you know we mean business, right? So we're doing a top five, and today the top five is going to be mindsets for success. Number one, and this is in no particular order. This is just something that I feel has been instilled in me from my father, instilled to me over the years in being in the business. And number one thing I'm gonna put on down here, again, no particular energy. You have got to bring energy to the table for the, in your mindset of success and you're saying to yourself, I want, I want this, I want that, I wanna go here, I wanna go there. None of that's gonna happen. If, you walk, if you're walking around like a sluggish all day, woes me, what am I gonna do, I don't know. You gotta bring energy to the table. Whether you're starting your own business, whether you're a partner somewhere, whether you're an employee somewhere, I don't care where you are or what you're doing, if you are not bringing energy to the table, you are vulnerable to just, for, for, especially for a company to say, see you later, we need energy here. Energy slash passion, right? You can't teach those things. You either got it or you don't. I can't make you energetic, but you, you, know, you, could, you could train yourself and say, I'm gonna be energetic today. It's your choice. Number two is care. So something I talk about here all the time is caring. We need to care. We need to care about everything we do. We need to worry. Worry about what's going on in our, in our company, in our business, and even in life. I mean, you know, that, that, that extra care that goes such a long way. You know, I, I talk about it so much. We're building, we're building on, on this brand, care, and it, it, goes, it goes so much further than just four, four, little, four little letters. You know, I say care equals communication. You need to communicate. You need to be involved in as many areas as possible in the business, especially if you're looking to grow within this organization that you might be in. Showing that you care and meaning it, being genuine. I'm not, I'm not saying coming in like, oh, I, I care. No, you got to show it. Your actions are going to show that you care. So you got you to gotta live it, breathe it, and be it. So caring is, is, is super big. Number three. I know that who I am today is not who I'm going to be tomorrow. I work so hard to be better than I was yesterday. I want so much for my team, for my employees, for the people around me to know that we're not working for today, we're working for tomorrow. And being able to accept that we have to change as people is gonna be everything. Because so many people get set and stuck in their ways. And you have the old adage, you know, this is the way I've always been, this is the way I always do it. And that's fine. Listen, if that's you, then that's you. But you have the choice to change that and say, I'm gonna evolve into the person that I wanna become, and it's gonna take work, and it's gonna take time, but I know that the rich that's standing here at 37 is gonna be a much different rich at 42, because I'm gonna to continue to evolve and work on myself and be better than I was yesterday. If you wanna be successful, man, you have to be willing to not be the guy that you were or the gal that you were yesterday. You have to be willing to put in the effort to get better. And number four, Urgent, urgency, this is a big one for me. If you want to get stuff done, and you want to build and be successful, your mindset has to be wrapped around this word. You have to be urgent in your day. You have to be thinking on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. What does it look like to be urgent? Like how, the practical example, what does an urgent day look like? Um, like you want me to give like examples of what you do here? Yeah, or you personally. Okay, well, let me think. All right, so being urgent. So what? Okay, so so what does urgent look like? You know, in a day, urgent looks like I got to get up early. I got to get to my office. I got to get. I got to get the day rolling. I got to answer my emails quickly. I got to get to these phone calls that I got to make. For me, we're doing some filming now. I gotta, listen, I got to figure out how I'm gonna get these filming done. I got to get this. I got. I got to plan. I'm, I'm traveling. I got to make sure I'm doing all this stuff. I got to make sure that I'm. I'm get into the to my customers locations when they need me I got I'm zipping I'm, I'm rolling I'm running I'm constantly running it's like when at the end of the day it's like whoa what just happened what did I do it's a whirlwind you have to just keep constantly moving for us in the office upstairs I mean we're constantly pumping things out we need to get to the next call we need to get the quote done we need to order the parts we need to do 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 this is a, a this is about doing execution ideas ideas and thinking are just gonna slow you down stop thinking you need to start doing 
and that's what we talk about here all the time. It's connected to every single thing that we do. Be urgent in your day. Um, have that fire in your belly. Have that fire under your ass. And just keep pushing and pushing to get to the next thing, get to the next thing. Kind of like restaurants, right? What, what's, what's, what's a restaurant want to do? They want to turn those tables, right? They want to get you in and they want to get you out. Now, they're not going to tell you that because they want you to have a nice experience, a nice atmosphere. But I can tell you, I assure you right now from a restaurant manager owner's perspective, they want to turn those tables. They want you in. They want your appetizer out in eight minutes. They want your entree out in 17 minutes. They want your drinks. They want this because that table is prime time real estate. So it's about urgency. They need to get stuff done. We need to get stuff done. If you want to get stuff done and you want to be successful in life, you have to wrap your head around urgency, man. It's super crucial. That might be number one. That might be like, psh, if we're doing this in order, put that up there. Urgency is number one. Uh, the last one on, on this on this five top five list that we're doing for mindsets for success is... Values. Oh, I had. I just, I just thought it is. Showing up. Whew, showing up. This is in more ways than one. This is not just showing up to your job at the time you're supposed to show up. I'm talking about showing up. I'm talking about being there for the people that need you. So if you're in a family business, you know, maybe you're working with your mom and dad. Maybe you're working with your brother and your sister. You have to show up for them, man. They need you, right? They they count on you. So on top of that, if you have employees, you know, 25, 30 employees, and these people have families, you got to show up for them. you got to do your part. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're an owner. Because if you're, if you're a lead technician, if you're, if you're a service manager... If, if you're a warranty billing administrator, every single position here in this business is important as far as I'm concerned. And these people need to show up for each other. That is a mindset for success, showing up for each other and, and counting on each other. Um, kind of like in football. I, I, always, I always like you know, sports metaphors when I'm, when I'm doing stuff like this because you've got the defensive ends. You know, you got, if, if these guys aren't doing, you've got the linebackers, if these guys aren't all shifting and doing what they're supposed to do at any given time, that whole thing falls apart. That defensive end, those, those guys, they, they all got to be there. They all have to watch each other. I mean, if you notice in the football, they're shifting, they're looking, they're communicating, they're looking at each other. Because if one person doesn't do their job, all goes to hell. Now, in business, I, I really feel that's the same way. Now, maybe we, you know, people call out, people get sick. I, I understand that. People get sick. Things happen. I'm talking about pulling all that out of the equation and understanding that showing up for each other is going to make you successful, your company successful, and you're not going to be able to lose. When you can count on your service manager and your parts manager and your technicians showing up, again, not just showing up, but I mean showing up and being there, being there with the respect, the mutual respect that we have jobs to do, we have people to take care of, and if we're showing up for each other, we're always going to win. That's the top five right there. So, um, at the end of the day, it all comes back to all these five things. And I'm sure there's a lot more that we could talk about. I'm sure there's a lot more you have. These are just some things that I pulled out. The success atmosphere. We're going to take this top five down. And if you have any tips on your mindset for success, doesn't matter what industry you're in, let's get at it below. Let's start a conversation on that. This is important for people to hear. And uh, listen, I will see you guys on the next video. All love.